color. <laughs> She's back. I'm back. You can't get rid of me that easy. Oh. I don't want to. Listen. Do listen. I click on live? Um, click on on that one with my uh, ugly smile. Oh, what a weird look. Oh. Yeah, listen, it wasn't my choice. Oh, I always look mean. You. Yeah. <laughs> For someone who is not mean at all, (laughs) I always look mean, and I always come off nice, and I'm not. You're not. (laughs) You heard it here first. She's Uh, very nice. I'm I'm nice until you provoke me, and Mm -hmm. then that's different. And I know you. I know you can be mean when you need to be, but you you don't really have to push me. You don't enact like you don't invoke the mean. No, like when somebody doesn't. With retreats, that's where I get mean. If well, some, yeah, if they do something that is not what they're supposed to do, then they know about it. You hear that? You want to come to a retreat? That's the one you have to be nice to. <laughs> I'm not even talking people. I'm talking, you know, that there. <laughs> but it never happens. I'm talking so people. So since we're since we're on that subject, I wanted to start today because we're going to have a little education day. I have my machine because I have something to demo. And then we're also going to talk about something very strange. I mean, Uh-oh. it might seem strange. <laughs> well, you. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk about social media, but also I'm how so the short. same. Hang on. Oops. <laughs> I feel short, so I get shorter. Uh, how the same Hang rules on. can apply. It just ignore her. <laughs> to other types of business. But I want to start. I'm going to watch. I'm trying to get up the chair. Oh, I want to start Chill. here. Okay. Okay. This is are, are you ready? Now it looks like a little short thing. I didn't share this with you because I oh thought gosh. we would share it publicly. Oh no. So here's the thing. Um, I kind of have a little information session for the haters. And don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Listen, I said I wasn't going to do this because I'm just like, whatever. Live your life. Be miserable if you want. And it's not that kind of thing. Because I've realized that trying to say to the unhappy people of the world, chill out, say nice things. Don't say anything at all. That ship has sailed. Some of you don't get it and you're never going to, and that's totally fine. So instead I would like to educate you. And I think you might learn a little something, not that you're one of the mean ones. It's okay. But there's, there's a little something with social media that you might have heard, but not understand. So I wanted to enlighten all of you. Good. So to, um, Diane, oh, you know what? She put her name on Facebook. I'm going to say Diane Larson, who said, could you get any closer? I can see your pores. Oh my God. Okay. First of all, we're going to address that real quick because I'm laughing. Um, first of all, yes, I can get closer. I can get so close to the camera that you could count my nose hairs. I will get closer (laughs) if that's what you really want. Just ask. It's fine. Um, also you can't see my pores because my skin is beautiful. Is it not? It is. There are no pores. So you can't see my pores. So don't, don't be a hater, but Uh here's what I really wanted to say. Okay. Aside from that, have you ever heard of the algorithm? You probably uh-huh. heard. Yeah. But maybe you don't know what it means. Maybe you're not fully aware of what the algorithm is and how it works. Let me tell you. Let me enlighten you. So if you're sitting there on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, TikTok, and you're like, how come I keep seeing the same thing over and over again, the same subject, the same person? It's because the algorithm is like a little spy. and mm-hmm. But it all, it's not a good spy. So it sees that somebody like my new friend, Diane, made a comment on something I did. It doesn't care or understand the difference between, I love what you're doing and I don't like you at all. The algorithm thinks you want to interact with that person. So when you're mean to people on the internet, you're just giving yourself a one-way ticket to seeing them more. So poor as and all, you're going to get more of me because you keep interacting with me. That's how the algorithm works. So um, if you've ever noticed, like the other day, I've never watched this show before called Supernatural. I've never watched it. It's like on, I don't know. I think it's a teen show. I don't know. I happened to watch one video of like a blooper reel that was funny. And I was like, oh, ha ha. Literally cannot get off of that now at all. Because (laughs) the algorithm was like, so you like this? You want Uh more? No, I do not. So it doesn't know the difference between you being nice and you being rotten. So keep that in mind. Also, um... Thanks to comments, all of them, I won my round of the Janome Press yes. and Beat Face Off. So even when you leave crappy comments, it benefits the people you don't <laughs> like. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to teach you all today. So it's actually better for you when you don't say anything, because then you can get rid of that person and you don't have to keep seeing them. 
I see a ton of posts from you because I like your posts and I see oh, what okay. you're quilting and I like you. But don't worry, that was going in a good direction. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Barb, you know, posted on her page. And so I like her page and I comment on things and I go, oh, that's cute. I like that. So I keep seeing her. If I keep commenting on Barb's page, well, now I've showed her how to block people. So it might not work. <laughs> I hate your quilting. You're terrible at this. I'm still going to keep seeing her. <laughs> so uh -huh. you see how that works? It goes both ways. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today because we're all about education here. So, and Cindy says that lady must not know that you made a makeup video for everybody. <laughs> she obviously <laughs> did not watch no. it. And listen, I'm not that person. Y'all know that I'm not that person, but I know my skin's good. So you can talk <laughs> about whatever you want. It's fine. It's fine. It's the same it's the same thing when the woman told me that there there were things that I could take to take care of my thinning hair. <laughs> That's hysterical. Do you the see how much hair I have? It's like, <laughs> oh, sweetie, no. So it's okay. So here's the thing. I read something that actually says that when you're a miserable person, it takes years off your life. So live it. Do what you need to do. Yeah, I'm going to continue being a happier person. I live forever. <laughs> you're going you're to be like 500 years old. It's going to be great. So anyway, <laughs> trust me, I'm saying this all with laughter because it is really funny. But let's talk about Janome because I have no idea what happens next and what it means. I wonder. But I won my round. So we started with eight. It will get narrowed down to four. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, it's like and a two. It's like a then, yeah. Then the winner. And then the winner. So I'm texting my mom the other night. <laughs> she goes, and just remember, my mother is the reason my sister and I are so competitive. She is, she created this. We are this, we are the, we can't play board games. Like they were banned in our house <laughs> because somebody gets mad, somebody gets like <laughs> bent out of shape. My mom cheats. Eric gets all <laughs> Eric's confused. We're not allowed to play board games. We're a very competitive family. It's really bad. Like when we were doing, when we were messing around at camp with the zippers, when I was yeah. made to put zipper pulls on, my sister was like, tell me how to do it so that I can oh, win. Yeah. Like, cause we're so bad about it. So my mom's like, so what do you win? Like if you, if you're yeah. like the Janome champion, I was like, literally nothing, but I need to win. It's <laughs> like, I need to win. I need it's to just be. A name. And if you don't think that I'm going to write an acceptance speech and buy myself a trophy, like you don't know me at all. I we'll will. A I too. will. If I, I lose, the trophy too. if I lose, we're going to sit in darkness and I'm going to sob. That's right. I just need to win. I'm very competitive. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so very bad. true. <laughs> it is. It's very true. Mm -hmm. So I don't get anything from this except sheer joy of like <laughs> winning. I don't know. So I don't know what happens next. I have to find out what's it's what's challenge number two. Out. I'm. I think I have to make another video, but I, I don't think. know what that one has to be on. So I don't know if that's like sing a song. I like. I don't know if I'm supposed to like show the foot in a different way. I have no idea. I've been mentally. Mm -hmm. I've been planning. I've been planning. So we'll see. Oh, I can only imagine. <laughs> it's going to be great. So anyway, that was um, that was what I wanted to share with you. And okay. also, did you read my post yesterday? I know you don't always because you're busy. Because you're doing your thing. Going out to dinner and doing all your whatever. Long arming. Long arming. Long, long arming. arming. That too. All day long. All day long. <laughs> I didn't realize it until yesterday when I looked. So we have a new pattern coming next week. Okay. The Patreons got it first. It's in our contract. So they got to see it first. So you guys will be getting a new pattern next week, probably on Tuesday. I, let's say definitely on Tuesday. Do that, it. Do it. it. Tuesday. A good Tuesday day. you're getting it. And then we'll talk about it on Friday because right. there's fun stuff behind it. So you're going to get a new pattern. And so I was like, how many patterns do I have? Because I don't know. Oh, I, know. I counted just the bag patterns, not quilts, not magazine stuff, oh, not free stuff, none of that. Just the bag patterns on the website, there's 41. Is there? This wow. will be my 42nd pattern. Good for you. Which is so weird. It's so weird. Like but you have a ton of quilt patterns. Too. I have a ton of quilt patterns. I also have written patterns for magazines. I also have yeah. free patterns. I didn't even count any of those. I don't know the legit hmm. real number. I'll have to figure that out someday. But you forget a lot of things, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been doing this for 12 years. I don't remember everything, but I try. Um, so I'm very excited about that. My 42nd pattern, and I'm 42nd. Uh, I'm 40. I'm 40 seconds. How appropriate. Yes. So that means you need to do at least one pattern a year to keep up with your age. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. I can do that now. Yeah, no, now I'm caught up. No, no. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Rosalie says she enjoys the way you explain every step of instructing each sewing step of your project tutorial. Thank you. I like you and would really like to see more instructional videos. Well, I like you too. And I have. And guess what? <laughs> I have a video that will come out with this pattern. So here's kind of how it's gone. <laughs> there was no plan to this. We've only done YouTube for, is it three? 2020. So it'll yeah. be three years in May or June that I've had a YouTube channel, which is not a long time. It sounds like it, but it's not. So I started out with non-pattern stuff like random mm. zippers and things like that and facebook live and all that so then i decided i should start doing tutorials on my patterns so every time a new pattern comes out that one gets a tutorial but i'm also desperately trying to catch up on the mm. older patterns because they need tutorials 42 too. Of them. 42 <laughs> well not as many well, so no, you've done a lot i don't obviously i the ones i've done are done if Stephanie from Quill Addicts Anonymous has done it, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it because we don't both need to make the same video. We both give instructions, I think, very similarly. So I don't mm -hmm. think that we both need to do it. So when she does one, I mark it off my list. I'm going to guess, because I have it on that board over there, I might have about a dozen left, oh, if that, bad. which is not yeah. bad. The month of March got away from me. Like, I can't even believe it's the 24th. I had dreams of doing more patterns. But I will try, I'm going to try to get caught up like as much as I can. Um, so that's where Stop I'm at. Off. Well, it's, you know, <laughs> listen, Eric's been spending a lot of time here and I love him, but it's very distracting when he's around. I and agree. <laughs> also, I wanted to let you guys know first, um, we're getting divorced because <laughs> I am so tired of you guys really liking him as much but as you do you on go. my channel. It's killing me. It's killing me. It's all about Eric and I can't take it anymore. So I got to get rid of him. So he's out. No, I, that would be a really bad reason to divorce somebody. Imagine that yeah, in court. Really? Why are you getting divorced? Because people on my YouTube channel like, like him. Because they like him more than me. They like him more than, me. Like him more than me and I'm mad. Um, no. So my co-host is not here this week. My, my original co-host, the OG is here. And I finally got you guys to make a TikTok together. And oh my God. <laughs> <He's so laughs> <laughs> it was the best. If you haven't watched that video, please go watch it because it's funny. Because Barb was trying to be mad. But no, Barb's not good at being mad. No. But her face, she was like, <laughs> she did the best she could. It was yeah, awesome. You did really good for your first one. Well, for a good. voiceover, yeah. it's not always easy. No. So. How many times do we have to do it? Trust me, I've done the same thing to myself a million times. So it's it's fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, so can you give a clue to your new 40-second pattern? Crossbody, wallet, big, small. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Um, so actually, I don't usually do this, but my mm -hmm. friend Kathy from K Dill Handmade has been posting because she had a pattern release today. She's been doing like little up close. Uh -huh. And I'm like, you know what? I think between today and Tuesday, mm -hmm. you're gonna get some little some little pictures. So I will tell you it is a purse. That's all I'm gonna tell you. So we already had a wallet. It's a purse. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's all you get to know because I'm a brat. So she's secretive. I'm very secretive, sneaky. So I'm going to post some pictures and you guys can see some little some little snippets, mm -hmm. little tiny ones. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're at. Um, what else before I turn this monster on? I don't know. Shelly knows that it's very cool because uh -huh. she's a Patreon. So the Patreons get everything first. That's like, mm -hmm. that's their little, that's their thing so they got to watch the video without ads which is fun and wow that platform takes forever to upload stuff it's actually really oh, annoying right. our hey, wi-fi here is not as great as at mm -hmm. home but so for the next one there there isn't a next one but like right now for the next one i'm gonna try it differently and see if it works better because that thing uploaded for 24 hours oh my gosh for a two-hour video and then once you, you get it a new modem no, it's the it's a Patreon needs something. Once um, you get it uploaded, then oh, they yeah. have to do the what whatever they have to do like the, yeah. the processing. I just turn the computer off and go to bed. Wake up in the morning. I, yeah, and it's finally it's done. done. You guys could have had that video two days earlier if they had gotten their thing quicker. So I'm gonna try something different. We'll see. Shelly, Shelly's gonna make one at the retreat. Yay! Oh, that's right. I'm Shelly's so coming excited. from Texas. We're yes. excited that you're coming. We're very Shelly. excited. We have a very diverse group coming yes. in April. We have. All the way from California to Jersey, Texas, Texas Connecticut. Connecticut. We have a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I probably forgot someone. Don't be mad. Almost uh, had somebody from Massachusetts, but she had prior plans. Uh, almost. Oh, no, no, we do. 
Margie. Oh, Margie's from Massachusetts. Oh, that's right. I forget she's we, from Massachusetts. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. So before I, because I wanted to show something, somebody asked me a question. I know that I saw it. I know that I answered it. I cannot find it. But we're going to talk about the HP foot on this machine. But before we do, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about something that when I'm talking about it, yes, it's going to be in relation to social media, but it really applies to anything. It really applies to any, any business that you have going on. So I have been doing this for 12 years. I've been writing patterns. I'm not going to say for that entire 12 years that I was on social media. I don't even think it was a thing in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I, don't even, I don't remember. I doubt um, it. it. It definitely wasn't. I think I joined Facebook and like after I got married. So it definitely wasn't around. I just started a YouTube channel less than three years ago. Things I've added things on. I've been on TikTok for like a year, you know, and you come and go and you do different things. And what I've done this year, it's not for me. It's not about the number. I'm not trying to like. I want a certain number. I like watching the numbers grow because obviously more followers, more yeah. that's fun. And I get excited about that, but that's not the bottom line. That's not the thing that I'm trying to achieve. Like I have to hit this number or I'm going to be really like, it's going to be devastating. I'm trying to grow my business and grow my platform and, you know, grow my customer base. I, you have to grow. You can't just stay still in the same spot forever. It's not, that's not a way to run any kind of a business at all, regardless of what that business is. Same for Barb, same mm -hmm. for me. I mean, we have very different businesses. Mm -hmm. Yes, they have similarities. We're dealing with fabric and a lot of the yeah. same people, but I write bag patterns, you quilt quilts. Those are not mm -hmm. the same thing. No. <laughs> but if Barb only had the same customer base that she had, how long have you been doing this? I can't remember. 10 or 12 years. So about the same time. Yeah. If yeah. Barb had that same customer base, it did not grow. How would you be doing right now? What if those I did 10 what, years ago? What if happened? those people Not didn't much. quilt anymore or took a break? You well, know, when I think about it. Yeah, half of the people that I started with aren't even what if they moved or, or yeah. 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 So you always have to be trying to push yourself forward. One thing that I will tell you in 12 years, not one single time did I ever say, I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna quit. Mm -mm. Because that's no train of thought to be, that's a bad mind place to be in. I never, ever once, I have thought to myself, what am I doing wrong? What could I do better? Why is she doing better than me? I played the jealousy game where I'm like, oh, I wish I was doing as well as them. Just remember a lot of what you see on social media is a lie anyway. So don't compare yourself. <laughs> Except us. Except us. <laughs> I couldn't be more real. And there are a lot of real people out there, but there's a lot of people that just lie. I don't lie. I don't lie because it's just, it's ugly. It makes it's you wrinkles. Track of. It, it, ugh. yeah. <laughs> and it makes your face ugly. Yeah. So I try to keep it as real as possible. There are certain things I won't share ever. I mean, that's just, you know, there's certain things that don't need to be aired out in the world. But if, if I'm not trying to move forward or I'm thinking to myself, I should just quit. Why am I doing it in the first place? And the reason I bring this up is because I am in a lot of other bag groups and different groups on Facebook. And even like one of the acrylic groups that I'm in, I see people, it happens every day. I've been doing this for this long, insert whatever amount of time, three months, a year, you know, two years, whatever. I just don't think it's working. I don't know what to do. And I, I understand where they're coming from. They're sad. They're, mm -hmm. They feel defeated. But as soon as you put yourself in that, it's hard to get out of it. Not one single time have I ever thought, I'm done. I thought during COVID, is it going to be done? Not based around me, yeah. but because of other circumstances. But I haven't ever wanted to quit. And once you get a taste oh. of it working and you get it, you feel valued and you feel like I have this, I have you, this wonderful audience. Once I get this, you want more and you want more and you want more. And Eric calls it, Eric calls, oh, calls it fat, dumb, and happy. That's oh, what yeah, he calls yeah. it. When you've, you've hit a goal and you're like, I don't need anything else. Mm -hmm. I'm done. I will yeah. never have enough. I will never have enough patterns. I will never make enough money. I will never have enough cork. I will never have enough. <laughs> I want more. If you don't feel that drive, Ask yourself why you're doing it in the first place. Because I know a lot of people are like, well, all my friends and my family said, oh, you make such great stuff. You mm -hmm. should sell it. Did you do it because they told you to? Do you really want to do it? Yeah. So here's the funny thing. I just, I find this very mind boggling because I can't always figure things out. So 
on Instagram, if you're familiar with Instagram, Instagram started out as a photo based app. The whole point was you take a photo, you write something done. Then they were like, oh, you can put more photos. You can do like a collage of photos. You could do this. Well, now Instagram, and I think it's because they're owned by Facebook. Everything changes when ownership changes. Now their thing is reels. We don't want your yeah. pictures. We want your videos. But that's not what you started out as. Yeah. YouTube yeah. is a video app. Why all of a sudden is that the thing? Mm -hmm. So lately I've been doing those one minute videos mm -hmm. because if you keep it under one minute, it fits on all the platforms. So I'm like, well, it's a reel now. Yeah. So my entire Instagram feed for, I don't even know how long has been reels, I guess since January, yeah. because that's when I started doing this. There's a little thing when you log in that says professional dashboard, because I have a business oh, okay. account. And so it'll tell you how many accounts you've reached in the last 30 days. Now, don't tell them, but you see that number? So mm. pretty much January and February, it was like, you've reached 2,000 accounts. You've reached 5,000 wow. accounts. And I was like, okay, obviously all of those people haven't followed me, but the numbers are going mm -hmm. up. I'm seeing, I would see growth one to two a day. All of a sudden, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Wow. It now says on my dashboard, I have reached 88,000 accounts. <laughs> Do you see how that changes? I didn't change. I just kept going mm -hmm. even when I felt like it wasn't working. I was like, I, I feel like I'm doing the same thing on Instagram and nothing's changing, but, but I guess no, I guess something's better than nothing. I'm getting yeah. one or two followers. I'll keep going. I am at 67.65. I have been at the 5,000 wow. mark since sometime two years ago and it wow. wasn't moving. So it's one of those things that I'm not talking about the number. It's not that. It's fascinating to me. It's fascinating to know that out of 88,000 accounts, I didn't get all those people to follow me because not all of those people are going to be my customers. Mm -hmm. Just like you're doing craft fairs, you're you know doing whatever, you're advertising for your quilting, whatever yeah. you're doing, you're going to get a little bit. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit here and there and it helps to keep things growing. It helps to put your name right. out there and get your customer base. Not everyone's your customer. Not everyone's going to sign on right away and be like, oh, I love that account. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah. you know, I want to do whatever they're doing. But it just shows that consistency. I have posted mm -hmm. at least once a day since technically December 27th. I just say January 1st because I've been trying yeah, for this yeah. whole year. So now that I'm on this streak and we're approaching April, I'm not stopping. I And you guys, a lot of people have been like, we love your, your short videos. We're learning yeah. stuff. To me, they're basic, but somebody needed to hear it. Somebody yeah. wanted to see it. So you might see some repeats. I mean, we're approaching month four of the year. I don't know yeah. how many, <laughs> how many ideas I have, but you know, you have to, you just have to keep showing up for your business. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do something, do it, but don't quit when it doesn't work day one. Right. I'm going to ask you, I already know the answer. Day one of quilting, you, you're a success. You made the money you needed. You had all the customers, <laughs> right? Day yeah, one, you're like, funny. sold. Yeah. yeah. Week one, <laughs> month one. Maybe you know, year one, maybe nah, yeah, yeah, a couple years in, a few years, years in, in, you were starting to feel yeah, like yeah. it doesn't have, if you are one of the fortunate people that it happens overnight, yeah, God bless you. You're a lucky person. Exactly. Ride that wave as long as you can. Most of us don't have that no. luck. Most of us don't just start doing something and it's successful at that moment. Mm -mm. We've sold products here that haven't worked well. Yeah. We've sold products here that were great in the beginning that fizzled out. Yeah. I've designed patterns that I thought were great that other people didn't like. And not everything is going to be the thing. But once you find it, also don't think that it's the thing. Because yeah. there's been a lot of those times where I was like, oh, I yeah. did it. Yeah. I, got, I, got, I got the connection yep. I've been waiting for. I got the pattern that everyone's been wanting. But do you stop then? Yeah. No. And sometimes those connections and those things, they weren't what I thought they were. I was like, this is the, yeah. this is it. Yeah. I did it. I met this person. I had a collab with them. Mm -hmm. I did this. And then it wasn't anything. So it just don't rely on anybody else to run your business either. Like Barb, you have your own customers, but you also have gone places and gotten quilting through other oh, avenues. Yeah. yeah. If one of those goes away, you still have other ones. Right. You're not relying on that person, that 
thing oh, no. to be no. the only way that you make your money and make your business. Uh -uh. Because if, and like when I came back from Florida, I used to quote it for you. Used to quote for me and look, I don't even do quotes anymore. No, like quote for, so for Ben and Batista. Exactly. And quoted for Linda Hahn and they quoted for, I don't know. And I've been in magazines even. Well, and that is so. Anybody made a quote though? That's the thing too. Okay. <laughs> let's talk about that. So you quote for a big name pattern designer yeah. and you've had your stuff in magazines. Right. So that was it. You didn't need to do anything else. No, no you want to keep company. going. And <laughs> yeah. then you're like, well, this is kind of fun. I like seeing my name in a magazine. I want to do another one. Or I want to get another designer. I want to work for another fabric company. Just if you're not hungry, it's not going to work. And you have to, there's mm -hmm. days that are awful. There are days that I'm like, wow, we sold one digital pattern on the yeah. website. <laughs> There's my rent, you know, like, woohoo. And there's other days where I'm like, oh my God, yeah, what's really? going on? Businesses are like this every single yeah. day. And I, I've just been seeing it so much lately. I've seen it. There's people that are making jewelry and stuff, you know, on the acrylic site. And they're like, where do you guys sell yours? I can't sell it no matter what I do. But what, in, what have you tried? Not to be rude, but did you try one thing? And you're like, it didn't work. Uh -huh. You got to try it all. And just yeah. because something works for someone else doesn't mean it will work for you or vice versa. I had a bad experience selling my handmade items through a boutique because of that person. Mm -hmm. Some of you do so well with that because it works for you because you found the right person to make it work. So I'm just... Just don't, don't quit. And Eric keeps telling me to put my coffee down. I'm going to throw this phone at him. Put your coffee down. <laughs> no. And he said, everything I do is perfect. Oh, what do you Eric. want from me? Eric, what do you what want? You looking for? <laughs> Failure is progress to do something better. That was a text that just came from Eric because he doesn't know how to comment on YouTube. <laughs> oh but my God. That's the, th and that's another conversation that's happened in our house a lot because I have only had this one business, but this business has had different branches. Mm -hmm. He's had a couple of businesses mm -hmm. and they, you know, they work, they don't work, they get better, they get, you know, like they're, it's a roller coaster. If you are in that success where you just, every, you're flying by every day and it's great, I, I guess you're one of the lucky few. So mm -hmm. embrace it because it could end anytime now. Sorry yeah. to say it, but it's just the way that it is. So, you know, I at one time had a pressure cleaning business. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> No, I did not know that. When I lived in Florida, Nick and I had a pressure cleaning. Business. Okay, well, that makes more sense in co the context now. <laughs> Wash on the wheels. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> that that is it. really funny. <laughs> For the short time that we had it, it did well. Yeah. But we had to move north, and that was the end of the pressure well, cleaning. <laughs> And again, and that's another that's thing. Funny. Barb's pressure washing business was great in Florida. Right. It's Birds not going to work here. Yeah. It, here it would work seasonally. Seasonally, But yeah. it's not like, you know, and that's another thing too, is people, they say, and it's true, I can't sell bags for this price because of where I live. Yeah. I absolutely get that. But also there's so many platforms and places that you could go outside of just dealing face to face with people. You know, there's a lot of websites and we talked about that. We talked about that in like a two part Facebook, you know, of just like going through, you know, selling stuff. It's mm -hmm. not an easy place to be, but I wake up every day whenever I want to. I do whatever I want to do. I can take time off if I choose to. I'm a workaholic. Oh, I don't take a lot of time off. I you have no I place have, to speak because you're a workaholic too. But I can't take time off whenever I want to. I have to look at your schedule first. Oh, well, yes. That does help when we, <laughs> but generally speaking. <laughs> You know, I don't have a boss and I had some really crappy bosses that I don't want to deal with anymore. I don't have to do that. But there's also downfalls to that. I don't have my own health insurance. <laughs> so that's why I have a husband that has it. That's not the reason I have him. I do love him. But there's, <laughs> a, there's, you know, there's a lot of other things. Some of you don't have the luxury of being able to quit mm -hmm. your job and do this full time. And I understand that. I do. I'm not, don't feel bad about it. Some of you have that luxury. You have a spouse or whatever, and you're you retired. have there and there were, you know, and you're like, I can just hang out and do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. Now's the time. Now is the time yeah. to do that business and get on it. And I don't give business advice. I like I don't do the financial stuff. I don't get into all that. I don't tell people how I started because I didn't start with a plan. So I will say that. Try to have somewhat of a plan because <laughs> I didn't have one. Mm -hmm. I planned on doing it on the side with my side hustle. 
I didn't think I would ever not work full time because it didn't feel yeah. like I could. And it felt, I don't know. I was in my twenties. I had worked since mm-hmm. I was, I babysat when I was 12. Like yeah. I, I worked since I was 16. I was like, I can't not have a job like a nine to five. That's what you have to do. That's how you mm-hmm. get retirement and benefits. Mm-hmm. And I have to do that. I didn't think that this would ever be full time for me, but I just kind of went with the flow and now it is, you know, and I started out as a side hustle when I was still working, thinking that's going to be my retirement job. Yeah. My son tells me I work more now than I ever did. <laughs> I, he's not wrong. So, but again, but the benefit fun. you work for me a few days a week. Yep. We're very flexible with each other. Yep. So if you can't be here or if something's going on and Barb is good to me. And I've told you guys that if Barb can't come in on Friday, cause something's going on, she'll come in on Saturday. She'll yeah. come in on Thursday. She doesn't leave me hanging. She still understands yeah. that I'm also running a business, which I greatly respect and appreciate that you do that for me. Cause I know, I know I was an employee once and I was like, <laughs> I'm not coming in. Peace out, figure no, it out yeah. on your own. And she could yeah, have that attitude no. if she wanted to, but it's not who she is. But you, if it's snowing out, you still can work because you're oh, at home yeah. doing yeah. your long arm. As long as the power stays on. As long good. as the power's on, you're good. Yep. If you're like, it's so hot out, I don't want to leave the house. Turn up the air and exactly. do what you need to do. You can cool in your pajamas. Like yep. there's definitely, even though you are working probably way more than 40 hours a week, <laughs> you still get to do like you still get really cool benefits from it. Yeah. You know, and you're home. Yeah, you know, and exactly. I mean, that's like your home majority of the time. You can yeah. do what you want to do. And have fun at the retreats. And then you get to have and retreats. That's a job in itself <laughs> that I don't want. <laughs> that dealing with all of the people, the seating charts, the food, the hotel. Nope. <laughs> and I enjoy it. <laughs> and you do. And I'm like, that's nope. Crazy. Eric just called me his sugar mama. He's not wrong, but. <laughs> oh, Eric. He's enjoying himself. And him, I need a sugar daddy, Eric. You get, you Eric, can you, can you get one for Barb? <laughs> um, since he has been focusing so much of his energy on my business this year. Mm-hmm. Tremendous. Like we have a system with templates with Sean's involved, Barb's son, Eric packs mm-hmm. up. He's cutting cork for me. He's doing all the stuff. And he says to me the other day, I have to laugh at this because it just, the way it sounded last year, we moved in here late in the summer mm-hmm. and I never got a, a lawn uh, landscaper. Right. So Sean came over a couple times, took care of it. So Eric said, uh, would Sean want to do it? And I was like, he's got enough going on. I need him painting templates. That's more important. <laughs> I said, at this point, I said, maybe I just need to mow the lawn. And he looks at me and he goes, you. why would you? Now I've never mowed a lawn. I, was gonna years. Say, I, I don't even know how to use done. a lawnmower, but, but wait, that was <laughs> that not was a ploy. This was not, no, it wasn't. It really wasn't. <laughs> Cause I was just like, at this point, it's going to end up being me. Cause I don't know what else to do. Cause we tried I to hire to someone. Mow. I know how to use a lawnmower. Well, we tried to hire someone and he kind of bailed on us and was like, yeah, I'll come over. And then never did. But I didn't say it. It wasn't said as a ploy and it was just sarcastically. I was like, I'm going to have to do it. Eric <laughs> says to me, why would you do it? He goes, you're, you're, you need to be creative. Why would, he yeah. goes, why would the head honcho be mowing the lawn? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. And so then there was this sound that I need to use on TikTok oh, and it's from a movie, um, Just Friends. Have you ever watched it? No. She goes, I'm not supposed to worry about stuff like that. I'm the talent. (laughs) That's basically, he did that. I said, you're going to keep saying this. My head's going to get really big. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I doubt it. (laughs) It was just so funny. I'm like, yeah, I'll be using that. Uh (laughs) So I'm going to let you look at the comments while I turn my machine on. And then I would probably do it for you. Sean probably would. Because Sean will do anything I ask him to do. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. He won't do anything you ask him no. to do. <laughs> no, he does at his own pace, though. <laughs> so, do we have any questions about whatever I just ranted about? See, now she's right. Another factor is developing a good reputation and never swaying from honesty and integrity. Exactly. You have to build goodwill, and it takes time. Because most of the people, and I'm talking customer people, that end mm-hmm. up being mad at me and not liking me, it's usually post office error yeah. that I get blamed for. Yeah. Or miscommunication because they didn't read or understand something. Mm-hmm. Most people that I end up having a failed customer relationship with is not like, well, you ship too quickly and I just decided <laughs> I don't like that. That's not usually what happens. They're usually mad about something that is either out of my control or that I have explained to them that they didn't want to accept. A lady says she'll volunteer to paint templates so Sean can mow the lawn. 
So you're yeah, not volunteering to come up here and mow my lawn. Yeah. Got <laughs> it. <laughs> and Hilly, I'm very happy you spelled his name right even. <laughs> she did. She spelled Sean correctly. I don't understand the S H A W N. I don't either. Because it's not as popular. And people have also spelled Eric with a K. And I'm like, that's the less yeah, popular really. way to go. Yeah. Like, that's a weird way to go. Yeah. <laughs> I I understand, but why? Would, you know that saying you hear um, you hear footsteps, you think horses, not zebras. Have you ever heard that? No, really? <laughs> no. <laughs> so it, it it's somebody on here has heard it. it isn't making weird, but it's the same thing. It's like why would you go with the the different abnormal spelling? Like yeah, is really? Eric with a K? And I'm like no, <laughs> like, no, yeah, really. <laughs> He doesn't need anything else to be weird. <laughs> He's weird enough. <laughs> and now somebody who has a son named Eric with a K is mad at me. See, this yeah. is what this is what I do. And somebody's got a son with a with the Sean, Sean S H A W N. And they're like, they're I like, now I yeah. unsubscribe. So it's fine. <laughs> of course it's Sean. Show his right. It's like Sean Connery. There you go. There you go. So we're right. good. So okay. I'm gonna put this here. <laughs> Hopefully that goes well. Okay, so do we have any questions? Uh, no questions. Lots of comments. No questions. <laughs> Lots of comments that I will get to read later. Yeah. But you know, I don't get to read them for a few days because that goes away for like 24 to 48 hours until I get to see it again. Oh, well, so it'll be interesting on that one. I don't know what that's supposed to. <laughs> Is, there must be something. Oh, I think it's about doing computer stuff. Oh. <laughs> trying to find somebody that knows how to do it when you don't. Oh, that that's tough. I understand. And also I have Jess. But <laughs> with certain things, but it's also finding someone to do computer stuff when you do know how to do it and want it done a certain way. Stephanie yeah. was telling me that she hired someone to edit their video, Stephanie from Quilt Addicts Anonymous. And I was like, that sounds amazing. But I am so anal about mm -hmm. how videos are edited that it would be really hard for me to be like, here. Yeah. You have to find the right person and you have to trust them. And I don't, I, you're too busy. Eric and computers are hit or miss. And I know that that would be a big thing for a big learning curve. If I'm going to have to teach you, I might as well just do it myself, well, that's, yeah. you know, and I don't yeah. like being like that, but you know, cut the cord, go right ahead. Like pack the templates. I don't need to do that. So, yeah. So, uh -huh. but editing videos, I really, I wish that I could find somebody that I knew and trusted that I was like, here's a practice one. Yeah. And then I was, I was good. Cause do you know how much I could film if I could just send it off oh, and be done with I it? it? That would be amazing. Okay. So what we're going to talk about, <laughs> somebody asked me and I literally cannot find the comment and either I hallucinated, which is possible, yeah. but somebody, and I swear it was somebody from YouTube <laughs> that said that they wanted to know about installing the HP foot because of getting this thing to quote unquote click in the right place. And I said, yes, we'll talk about it on Friday. And now I can't find the comment. Somebody else had also asked about the HP plate and what is the deal with it? Why do you need it? What's the so, deal? Uh, it was you. Okay. So, <laughs> so let me take. I do have a Genomi machine. You do. I'm on cough. Let me. I'm on okay. and be quilter. <laughs> So let me take have a house full of machines. I understand. I mean, mine are mostly Janome. I have two older Husqvarnas, and I have a singer somewhere. Oh, I still so have a singer too. It's an old, old one. Oh, my and we also have Bernina in the house now. Um, you got all of them. And there's something else. We had a baby. Lock, we had a baby. We got lock. rid of it. Yeah. No, we have, we have shelves of machines in the basement <laughs> between Shana and I. Yeah. So this is the regular plate. This is, I don't know what you call it. I, I just call it the normal one. This is the one that I stitch with all the time. And this is the HP. So if you see right here, can you see that there's like a slot right here on the regular plate? You see how there's a single hole right here? The HP plate has that single yep. hole for the needle because it was meant to go with the HP foot. So in center needle position, it lines up and it's supposed to make your quarter inch and your piecing precise. Now you, I, you guys know, <laughs> I don't quilt that much anymore. So the HP plate is great if you're in that needle position, but I move my needle around a lot. 
And what also happens with Janome needle plates, and I'm sure this is with other companies too, I'm not 100% sure. When you engage this and you put this in, there's something in this that the machine reads and it turns off the stitching you're not mm. allowed to do. So, cause it doesn't want you to move your needle and bang your needle into the needle plate and break it. So I use the HP plate sometimes, but I think it was Beth that said, I think I'm pretty sure it was Beth last week. I don't use it because I get tired of switching back and forth. So if I'm gonna use this foot for piecing and for top stitching, I'm probably just gonna use my regular needle plate because then I can move my needle wherever I want it. So that's the difference. Uh, that's really the only difference is that it's a single whole plate. If I was quilting and I was piecing, it would be fantastic, but I move my needle too many times. I move it back and forth. I don't do fancy stitches very much, but I'm moving my needle left to right all the time. So that's why I use this one. This machine, I think just came with this one, but my 15,000 has like three different needle plates. I don't know. It's a whole collection of stuff. <laughs> For the amount of money that machine costs, I understand. Yeah. But my, <laughs> the first time I ever changed this, I actually thought I broke it because it, it comes out so hard. Oh. And yeah, you have to click it. Like that that's sounds, how mine is. I was like, oh my God, I broke it. it. Yeah. And it clicks in so hard. So I mentioned that because in case you're like me and you're like, I just broke a very expensive uh -huh. new machine. You didn't. They're very hard coming in and out. So this is the foot. So Janome has an HP, like a standard foot. One of these snap-on feet. And I don't have it because it's out of stock. <laughs> it's been out of stock forever. So hopefully it will be here at some point. It is on order. It's coming. But this is the dual feed. And what dual feed means, in case you don't know, is you have your feed dogs in your machine. Underneath, it has more feed dogs. So this is a walking foot. But instead of just being a basic walking foot, they have dual feed in quarter inch, stitch in the ditch, HP. And I don't remember what HP stands for. I don't know if it's like high performance. I have no idea. Don't ask me. If somebody knows, they can tell you. Um, but the HP is a skinny little foot that is very similar to the skinny foot that comes on the HD9. So that's why I love this foot, because if you're doing curved piecing, if you're top stitching a curve, it is so much easier than having a big wide foot to have like the little skinny mm -hmm. one. So I really like that. So when you're putting it on, and I'm going to show you, hopefully the microphone will pick up. I want you to hear how clunky it sounds when it's not engaged so that you know that you did something wrong. <laughs> I'm not going to break anything. If Amy's watching, Amy, um, you might want to step away. I'm going to stress her out. So I take the ankle off. This is for the regular snap on foot. You have to take that totally off because this has its own and it's right here. I take the um, screw totally out because I just, it's very hard to get in there with the awkward, screw. Yeah. Really awkward. So you put this in, it kind of clicks around. And I know that you can't really see what I'm doing. Um, neither can I. So, hold on. Let me move your arms in the way. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. So. While you're doing that, somebody yeah. wants to know, isn't that single hole plate for free motion quilting too? Um, it could be. I don't do that either. <laughs> no. Not on a regular domestic. Uh -uh. I Give wouldn't. Me a long arm, I'll drive it. <laughs> anything moving like that, I, yeah. I don't know. Single holes make me very uncomfortable because it's a hair off and your needle breaks. Mm -hmm. So you I'm pushing. I mean, imagine if you had a bend in your needle you didn't see and then mess up the time. Well, no. So I push this part down, but I'm not going to engage this because I want you to hear what it sounds like when it's in wrong. And get this back here. We're going to teach you how to do it wrong. I'm going to teach you how to do it wrong because <laughs> if you don't know what wrong sounds like, you might just think, well, when that foot's on, it sounds kind of clunky <laughs> because it's wrong. So here we go. I always got to say righty tighty. Is that, am I going righty? Yeah. I think I'm going tighty. If you go towards yourself, it should be right. That's right. <laughs> I'm lefty loosey and all over the place. Okay. <laughs> all right love of all things okay that thing is not in all right foot is in move my needle because it's in the hole right now okay let's go here okay so let's see if we can get some clunking let me move my microphone over how do i get it off <laughs> okay <clears throat> so when it's in wrong it should sound nice and clunky 
I got the foot pedal right here. I'm just going to do it with my hand. I know there's not enough bobbin thread. Just do it anyway. Okay, of course. I think it sounds clunky. I don't know. It doesn't always. And what it is, is this metal thing is not in the hole. So it's like kind of smacking against it. I don't know. I think it sounds weird. If you take this, maybe when we hear you know it, why? Clicked. Because it actually went in and I didn't want it to. Oh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And it's not the middle part with the extra feed dogs is not engaging. So it's not right. moving evenly. It's not doing what it needs to do. If I take this and push it and click it in mm -hmm. where it's supposed to go, just hear how uh -huh. much smoother it is. And then such an extreme difference. Listen, <laughs> it is when it's supposed to be I when know. people aren't watching. I know. But you can see here, Barb will, will attest to I will this. Verify. You see those little stitches? Yep. Because it's not engaging. So right. it's trying to do something it's not doing. You exactly. see how much better they are yep. here? Because if it's not for it. clicking in, that's what's happening. The other thing is somebody had said to me, because of that, because of the extra part on the top that engages, do you have to start further back? Will it still sew? I'm in the front of my mm. foot right now. I'm starting out away yeah. from the feed dogs. It still will go. It's not fully engaged, but remember you have the feed dogs on the bottom. Those are moving regardless. So it's going to get a little bit easier once you are underneath the foot, but you don't have to. And I think whoever asked that was wondering because if you were um, sewing a seam or top stitching, you don't want to start in the middle. You want to start right on that edge. So yes, it will still go. It will still move. Okay even when you're fully forward. And the foot also floats a little yeah. bit until you start sewing. But once it gets under there, you feel the difference. It kind of grabs it and it yeah. goes. So that's all. Well, good job. Thank good you. Good demo. And I don't know if they agree, but we'll see. Mm. I, I also got the bi-level foot. I have been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> Because this oh, is also yes. That's all you've been out of stock. About. Mm. So <laughs> you're very sarcastic today. <laughs> no, but you have been talking about I it. I have because I wanted this stupid foot. Where'd you finally find it? Um, Ken's. Did you? Mm -hmm. Ken's sewing online. I can get whatever I want from Janome, but I just try not to be that person that's like, I want more stuff. So I was like, whatever. It's on back order. It'll come eventually. So this thing took forever. The only thing is that the buy level part is not high enough for me. I'm used to the compensating foot that you really oh, see the yeah. difference. This one works nicely. I'm not saying it doesn't. And for a domestic, it's good, but I don't like it as much as the compensating. So if I could get a compensating foot for a domestic, I would be super happy. But I have not seen that that exists in the Janome world. Janome, if you're listening, that's what I want. That's what I want for my prize. There you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the prize Perfect. that I'm not getting, but that's what I want. So I'm going to put the bi-level foot on. I do like it. It's just, it's very different. Look it out. It's really hard to do this backwards. Come here. There you go. So there is that. That's kind of like my fop hockey feed. Does yours go on separate or does it pull down? Pulls down. Because my old... My old Janome pulled down mm -hmm. and I always forgot to engage it. And I would do the same thing. That's why I know I know about the clunking noise because I would start oh, sewing yeah. and I'm like, uh, oh, shoot. And I'd forget to pull it yeah. down. So if something is not engaged. Mine tells me it that's not engaged. engaged. No, mine didn't. It was like, live your yeah. life. Have fun. <laughs> do whatever you want, Jess. It tells me we don't care. Wrong foot on it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. So, well, this thing tries to, and I'm like, yeah. I do what I want. Yeah. Don't tell me what to do. The one thing with the bi-level foot that I think is pretty cool, you see those lines? Yep. There's markings on here. So the center line is a quarter of an inch. Oh, so cool. once you put it on, then you can move your needle to, I think it was 4.5, but let me double check. I think it was center position. And you're right in, Yeah. you're right on the uh, quarter inch line. That's good. And then you have your... Uh, you have it ready to go. So let me do hmm. my quarter inch top stitching here. Really 
soccer that you're holding the foot? Yeah. I wouldn't recommend sewing this way. So I don't like that. It scares me. <laughs> it goes too fast. I don't like it. Can you so, adjust the speed? Yeah, you can adjust the speed. Yeah, but I like going fast. Listen. I like going fast, but that goes too fast. <laughs> okay. Because, no, you know what happens? I forget that my foot isn't the thing stopping it. And I'm like, the button. Oh, and then I get all nervous. And then I'm like, oh, the button. And it's like, it's I crazy. never use it. Yeah. I only <laughs> use it for embroidery because you have to. That's the only time I That's use it. That's all I yeah. use it for. Yeah, I know people that exclusively sew with this and never yeah. use their feet. Don't understand you. I'm just gonna say it right now. I don't understand you at all. But there's my quarter inch top stitching. Yeah, with the bi level foot. So I love the lines and everything. I just want it higher. I want I want it a little higher. But I can only have what I can have. So I have to just get over it. <laughs> so that's all. That was for whoever asked. And I can't remember because I nope. cannot find your comment. It might have been on a story because stories go away. And that is what happens. And then I don't know hmm. what happens. I don't know. So I don't know. That's all I got to say today. You have over 16,000 subscribers. I have almost 17,000. Almost 17. Yeah. 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 And um, I really would love to hit 17 by the end of March because I like to just start the next month, month even. Even. It's probably not going to happen. Okay, everybody. But we'll see. <laughs> Listen, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Go subscribe. Exactly. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh -huh. So, ugh, okay, get out of my way. This machine. Okay. And uh, Eric and I filmed a little video of him threading the HD9. So you will be getting that little treat soon, too. Oh, <laughs> Did you have to bleep, bleep, bleep? He only said F once. Oh, but, that's good. um, he wants me to leave it in, and I said, I can't. No. <laughs> I will get banned on YouTube. I can't. Uh, I He was in a cranky mood, and so I said, well, I need to film a video of how to thread the HD9, so why don't you come do it for me? And all of a sudden, he's like, okay. So then he came in and did it, and then he was all happy. And that was when he um, embroidered his name, yeah. which is now Frigg. It did not look like Eric, but it? he tried really hard. Um, is it over I, there? It's over there somewhere. I think it's over there. It does not say Eric, but he was trying really see hard. see Eric on it. It says oh, Frig. I think I see it. It says Frig. Let's oh, just, yes. it is what it is. <laughs> I see it. it does not. <laughs> that does not say Eric. Yes, it does. <sighs> yes, it does. It says Eric. <laughs> it says That's Frig. Eric's language. <laughs> We can only work on one thing at a time. We were we were working on sewing skills. We cannot work on spelling skills. That will be for another he day. He needs to learn to line things up though, a little, you know. I, mean, I don't know like that this. he was actually trying, or that he knows he's supposed to do that. So yeah. <laughs> he did pretty good for threading so you machine. Be in your first class wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> that would be interesting. That is the word you're looking for. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know about fun. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, mm, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and if I could con Sean into doing it with him, it would be even funnier. But I don't think that'll ever. Then happen. we would definitely <laughs> film it, and then we would definitely not hear yeah. anything except beeping. Yep. Beep, beep, <laughs> beep, beep, beep. beep. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> you lovely people, have any other questions <laughs> about uh, whatever I've said today? <laughs> Uh, oh, she, Cindy says she's going to learn more about threading her HD9. He, she hopes he's a good teacher. <laughs> good luck. I Cindy. mean, good I luck. don't think he was a bad teacher. Um, he's a good student. I will say he did listen. I just took the foot apart for no reason. I should stop touching that. Um, yeah, <laughs> you're going to break it. <laughs> well, I didn't know it came off. So apparently it does. Uh, so there's that. So I took that off. It's back. Um, yeah, so he's going to he's going to learn. I will do a legit threading video <laughs> that is straight on so you can actually see it because it's kind of from the side. But it's just fun to watch because threading a regular machine, they're all pretty much the same. There's mm -hmm. not a, like there's one or two minor things on different brands. That machine is totally different because it's mechanical. So it's definitely a learning curve on having, you know, having to thread that one. But he did pretty good. So is that a big sticker on it telling you how to thread it? There is a big sticker. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. That's good. <laughs> These have them too, don't they? They usually. I don't know. Oh, I guess that's weird. I don't think so. There's just the arrows there's on here. Just the arrows yeah. and the numbers. So, hmm. so that was my week. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
Very nice. That's all I got to say. <laughs> okay. And now I'll Look have to Shelley. wait. Look and at that Freaking Eric. <laughs> Shelly Schieffer. My goodness. Uh, <laughs> I will have to read all your comments sometime in the near future be when they come back because I can't read them right away, which I don't really like. I think YouTube needs to work on that. Um, uh -huh. So, yes. Yeah, so next week. Tuesday, you get a brand new pattern. So look out for that and the video. And then Friday, we will talk about the pattern and who it's named after and how it started and all that fun stuff. And since that pattern's done, I started working on another new pattern because I have ADD. So that's good. Keep yeah. you busy. Keep you keep off me, the streets. Keep me off the streets. <laughs> Nobody wants me on the streets. No, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> yep. Maybe one of our neighbors. <laughs> around here it's hard to say <laughs> so have a great weekend <laughs> everybody and just remember awesome if you're gonna be a troll on the internet it will come back to bite you in more there ways you. than you know <laughs> <laughs> have a good weekend we will see you next friday bye, guys. bye. <laughs>